welcome back to the Sustainably Yours Homestead. Today we're going to try to propagate some wild oyster mushrooms that I found a few days ago. I'm not super knowledgeable about mushrooms and I especially not to the point where I'm confident enough to eat wild mushrooms that I've found. So they've been sitting in this bag for a few days while I did some research to figure out for sure that they are oyster mushrooms. But we're going to try and take these and get some spores from them and propagate them so that I can grow some in the house. So the basic idea is I want to take some spores from these mushrooms and I want to put them on uh, some moist corrugated cardboard and then we can take that and use it to inoculate um, some kind of growing medium. I don't know exactly what, I haven't made it that far yet, but um, that's what we're going to try to do here today. Now, the key apparently to this whole process is to keep everything super clean. So. We've got um, some ammonia. Actually, this is what I'll be using. This is some. Uh, this is a an ammonia water solution, and we've got isopropyl alcohol. We're going to be washing our hands every time we walk away and walk back to do anything. So, we've got to keep everything super clean. That way, we don't get any bacteria or other types of fungi um, contaminating the oyster mushrooms that we want. So what we're going to need, uh, we have, I'm going to use two pieces of corrugated cardboard, cardboard. I'm going to try to do this two times, just in case one fails. Uh, we've got our wild mushroom samples. Uh, we've got a glass bowl with a lid that we can soak our cardboard in. And I'm going to use a Sharpie to label my uh, plastic bags. We'll start by boiling some water to soak the cardboard in. And while we're waiting for this to boil, we're going to sanitize the bowl and get it all prepared. This is the ammonia and water mixture. I'm just going to spray in there. Make sure to get it all clean and dry the ammonia out. I'm also going to do the same for the lid. And I'm just going to leave the top on that so that nothing can get in the bowl. Alright, now that we have our water boiling, we're going to put our cardboard pieces in the bowl and put some boiling water over them. We're going to take our cardboard. I'm going to try two of these, so I'm going to stick both pieces of cardboard into the bowl. And we're going to cover them with our boiling water. And now what? This is going to allow the cardboard to to be moist, but the, the boiling water should also kill off any living little things, bacteria and whatnot that might have been on the cardboard. We're going to cover this back up, and that's going to have to sit there for about an hour. While we're waiting, we'll go ahead and sanitize and label our Ziploc bags. I'm going to use alcohol. I'm just going to put some alcohol on a napkin. And now I'm going to label each bag. Oops. P. Austriatus for the scientific name. Pleurotus Austriatus. 
And if you're interested in how I definitively identified these as oyster mushrooms, Pleurotus ostreatus, there will be a link down in the description of this video where I kind of detail my research and maybe you can double check me and make sure I do have what I think I have. And it's been about an hour on our soaking cardboard. We're going to remove the lid from the bowl. And we need to take these and squeeze the water out of them somewhat. The, the top came off of the cardboard. That's perfect. We're going to have to do that anyway. I just want to uh, kind of dry them out until they're not soaking wet anymore. Still a little bit of water. You want to dry them to the point where they don't drip water when you kind of when you squeeze them. All right, so there's that one. I'm going to move this off to the side, and we'll bring in a plastic bag. I want to set my cardboard inside the plastic bag. We're going to remove. Well, first. Let me find a couple of good mushroom samples. Now, we're going to remove the top. Well, this is together, so we'll remove that. I'm going to place my mushrooms gills facing down so that hopefully they'll drop spores onto the corrugated part of the cardboard. It gives them a little extra, I guess, growing medium, plus the glue, apparently, they can use as a food source. So we're going to take that. We're going to replace the top. Put this in here. Give it a little seal. I think I want to leave a little gap there for, for airflow. And that one is finished. We're going to set it off in a warm, dark place and see if we can't get some mycelia growth. All right, now for this one. So there it is, my first ever attempt at trying to cultivate wild oyster mushrooms. Now hopefully we'll get some mycelia growth on the cardboard and then we'll be able to use that to inoculate some kind of growing medium. Um, I'll look more into that if I get anything growing here. Uh, we'll keep you updated on it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you back next time for more daily sustainable living.